Dr. Stephen Park from Korea, one of our most important inventors. Dr. Park will be our training leader for today. Hello, my name is Sean Park. I'm the urologist who's practicing in Seoul, South Korea. My practice is dedicated to the penile implant surgeries. Recently, I've been to Spain, Barcelona to attend the body lab. It turns out that I was a training leader of the 14 trainees, including three other uh, training faculties. Well, I've been to several other cadaver labs as a trainer, but never been in a position of a training leader before. In summary, it was a great experience for me. It was a two days course, and the first day was consisted of the uh, lectures. So four of us, each of us gave them a lecture. It's about the anatomies and uh, how to prevent an infection. It was about how to talk with the patients who thinks about the penile implant surgery and about the patient awareness program. And the next day was actual body lab, so-called the cadaver lab. As we have 14 trainees, and, and the four faculties, we had each other's uh, separate tables. And uh, for cadaver lab, Dr. Marco Capic from the Italy, he was demonstrating a surgery on each steps. And on each steps, we trainers on each, you know, tables, uh, let the trainees try it on. So I think the way they demonstrated and the way we did, it seems like the best way, because in each step, trainees were able to uh, get trained as well and were able to feel what they have to feel. So when it comes to penile implant surgery, tactile sensation is very important. And we stopped on each steps and designated each surgeons. We divide them as a color and the red team and black team. So red team do this, black team do this, something like that. We did it like a step-by-step -step method. By that, I think we were able to give what we should give to the trainees. And besides, uh, I was lucky with my trainees as well. Because if you have trainees who are not really willing to learn, it's really hard to lead them. Because you know you watch them and you see their responses and you see their reactions that they, if they really don't want to learn how to do it, it becomes really hard. Because usually this kind of cadaver lab lasts about three to four hours. There's a no break because it's almost like a surgical process as well. So I don't know why, but uh, once we wear surgical gowns and uh, gloves on, I think we surgeons forget about different things. We don't talk, we don't think about eating, especially if it, as these trainees are interested in the same field as I do. I was also very excited, but I would just keep talking and showing them what I know, and <laughs> they, keep, they kept asking me what they have in mind, and it was a, such a fun. But when it's almost, you know, four hours, I could feel the tiredness. And after the course, you know, I really flat it out. So this cadaver lab did give me a huge joy. Well, I did know that I love doing penile implant surgery. I didn't know that I'll, whether I will enjoy, I mean, teaching the other surgeons or not. That's not something we are trained. So I always thought that being a good surgeon and being a good trainer is a different thing. Being a good surgeon, you just have to do your own surgery. But if you want to be a, become a good trainer, you need to enjoy the training and you need a talent to enjoy that. I still do not know whether I have a talent or not, but at least this time I found that I really enjoy the process of the training. And actually, uh, this was a preparation for the next cadaver lab in Bangkok and coming November this year. For this training, trainees were mainly from the Middle East or the South America, Brazil and Colombia and uh, Saudi Arabia and Jordan, uh, Qatar and the other countries. But for the coming uh, cadaver lab in Bangkok, it's more for Asian countries like uh, South Korea and uh, Japan and Middle East. So there has been no could ever lab for the Asian country at all so far. So it will be the first. I can talk with the other <laughs> Asian surgeons as well. I'm really looking forward to it. 